Hello book lovers and thank God at the love from Skip and Blessed Walk. Today, I am very delighted to share with you an interesting book. The title of the book is Room on the Broom by Julia Dawson and Axel Skip. As you can see here, this is the main character, the witch. And this is her cat, the friendly witch and her cat were happily flying through the night sky on a broomstick. However, the wind picked up and blew away the witch's hat, then her bow, followed by her wand. Luckily, three helpful animals found the missing item and returned it to the witch. And all they wanted in return was a ride on the broom. So, what do you think happened when there were so many friends on the broom. Do you think the broom can bear the weight of all new passengers? I think you can guess the answer. However, the dangers did not stop there. There were greater dangers that they need to overcome together. I think this book would help the readers to see the importance of friendship and benefits of being kind to others. Through the series, series of missing and retrieving her items, the witch made friends with some other animals. And in the end, they helped her to keep away from a great danger. I think we should do the same too in our friendship with others. We should always try our best to help each other in whatever situations we face. My favorite part is when the witch agreed to make room for the helpful animals on her room. Broom. I think her broom was actually quite small for so many passengers, but she still made a room for them up until the very end. This made me think that the witch is very different from other witches that I have read before. I always read about the wicked and spiteful witches, but this one is the opposite. This one is very friendly and lovable, and I think I would want to be friends with her too. I'm sure she wa would make me a room on the room for me too. All in all, I really enjoyed reading this book. It was funny with some dramatic twists. I was giggling all the time. I was giggling not only at the amusing storyline, but also the clear and colorful illustrations. Just look at this. I think boys and girls from 8 to 12 years old would enjoy reading this book, but younger kids would like the story being read to them. This book is definitely a must read. I give it 5 stars. That's all for